بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. So the question is, are the Shia uh, worse or a, I guess a bigger threat to Ahl Sunnah than the Salafiyya, the Wahhabiyya? And it's an interesting question. Um, and there's different ways to look at this. So firstly, both groups are not Sunni. They're not the orthodox uh, way of Islam. Um, they're both uh, ways of innovation. Um, uh, and generally, they're going to be from Ahl al-Qibla. Of course, we divide uh, people uh, into three types, either from Ahl al-Sunnah, which is following the three schools of Aqidah, four schools of Fiqh and the way of Tasawwuf. Then there's Ahl al-Qibla, which the Salafi, the Wahhabi are generally going to be from, uh, and the Shia as well, with the Khawarij and the Mu'tazila and uh, groups of uh, that nature. Um, and uh, no doubt even some of these groups could even go into Kufr, which is the third category, um, which are uh, the disbelievers, the Kufar. Um, but so again, both of these groups, the Shia, and the Shia, of course, have different, uh, you know, uh, I guess they can be divided into different groups as well. Um, of the worst, there's like the Rafida, um, but even then there's other, I mean, there's like the Zaydiyya, which are, are the closest to Ahlul Sunnah, but I'm still uh, not uh, correct and, and on the way of misguidance. Um, so the problem with the Salafi and the Wahhabiyya is they say that they're Sunni, right? At least the Shia, I mean, it's clear, you know, that they're, they're different. Um, uh, no doubt they, they have a lot of things that are contrary to our religion, but the Salafi and the Wahhabi, they actually use our books and they change our books and they take things out of our books and they lie on the scholars, right? So, uh, when you call yourself a Sunni and some of them even adopt a madhab, uh, like they'll, they'll call themselves a Hanbali or Maliki, um, and then they'll, uh, they'll use that. Uh, to be able to propagate uh, their, uh, their 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 teachings of um, innovation, of tajseem and uh, other uh, you know things that go against our, our religion. So, um, it, from that perspective, the Salafi and that's what they did. They actually took over for a little while, um, and I mean this is a new group in the last two hundred and fifty years or so. Um, they, of course, they're going to claim they go back to the Sahaba, which is uh, not even close to being true. Um, they're people of uh, of Tajseem uh, generally and uh, on the way of Al Khawarij. Um, and they uh, go against uh, Tasawwuf and they, uh, their Aqidah, of course, we already mentioned, has problems. Their way of Fiqh is just to be Mujtahid uh, and kind of neglect the schools. So, uh, from that perspective, the Salafiyya actually uh, could be uh, regarded as worse than the Shia. Uh, as in being a threat to Ahlul Sunnah, because we are Ahlul Sunnah, the Orthodox way of Islam, and uh, these uh, people, these uh, innovators, the Salafi, the Wahhabiya, um, they claim to be Sunni, uh, and they come into our tradition, and they, you know, they make up things, they exaggerate things, they change things, uh, and they say that our scholars they repented before they passed away, like Imam Al Ghazali and Imam Al Juwaini and Imam Al Razi and. I mean, it's just nonsense and stupidity. Uh, so no doubt the Salafi and the Wahhabi have been, um, uh, alhamdulillah, they're dying out now. Um, they've always been a minority, but they've had uh, the oil money, for example, to uh, push them forward. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.